Since President Biden took office, he immediately and illegally stopped deportations. Two days later, I sued him. And four days after that, I obtained a court order requiring him and his administration to follow federal immigration law. Since then, Biden continues to ignore the Constitution and federal statutes. I've now had to sue him five times over this same issue. His reckless and dangerous flouting of immigration law is costing Texas billions of dollars and leads to more drug trafficking, more human trafficking, and more crime and erodes American sovereignty. The only groups that benefit from President Biden's disastrous agenda are the cartels. To better understand the situation on the ground and to better prepare for more lawsuits, I took my team to the border to see firsthand the devastation caused by Biden's illegal policies. The cartels are making so much money on all of this. You have to pay just to get into a park. Yeah, so there's, you saw the park. Uh, you have to, the cartels control the park. So in order to get to the park that gets you closer to the U.S., you have to pay. And I've been told by agents down here that it's a minimum per person of $4,000. The cartels get $4,000 at a minimum for every person that they bring across the border, which is thousands of people. That doesn't include the drug trafficking and the human trafficking that they do that they have greater access to because our Border Patrol agents are busy, you know, taking care of all these families that are coming across. What have we seen? Talk to us about where we saw that private fence. What's going on here? So that's the first time I've seen that. There was a landowner that built a three-mile fence, spent $15 million to protect his property because he, he was tired of people coming onto his property, destroying his property, stealing his vehicles. The partial wall that, that Trump was able to complete before he left office. Please get this message out as we try and bring um, this information uh, to a point here in Texas where something can be accomplished and done here to protect our citizens, uh, which is what we're trying to do. So thank you again for your time today. And again, thank you, General Paxton. So there's a reason that we've sued the Biden administration five times over immigration. Tremendous harm is being done to this state. Tremendous harm is being done to this nation. The cartels are being enriched, given the opportunity to smuggle drugs, given the opportunity to human traffic, given the opportunity to charge these people exorbitant costs for getting into, the, into our state. And we're going to do our best to force the federal government to follow the very laws that they passed and the very laws that they're supposed to follow, including President Biden, who's supposed to enforce these laws, not say that they don't matter. So uh, I'm here to do that. We're going to continue that fight and hopefully we can begin to protect the citizens of this state and the citizens of this nation.